Hi everyone. Now for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lisa Miller and I'm a behaviour consultant who specialises in behaviour management. Now I've had a huge response to my request for behaviour questions to address in my videos and in this film I'm going to start with the most popular question and then give you four strategies. Okay, here's the question. What do I do if there are a group of learners, not just one, but a group of learners who are constantly disrupting my lessons? Now, packing is a behavior issue that can be really intimidating and feel overwhelming. But you've got to remember that it doesn't feel that way just for you, but also for the rest of the learners in that class. Now, the good news is there are plenty of things you can do about it, but the bad news is there is no quick fix. In general, the staff who manage to deal with this successfully are usually prepared to put the time in. Now, these strategies are all about getting learners on side so that they choose a different behavior as opposed to attempting to dominate them in the hope that they will change. Also remember, it's imperative that you come across to your class as confident and protective, not reactive and aggressive. Now, um, I posted films on cabin crew and championing um, last January, on January the 5th, so last year, so check out the grid for those. So here are the four strategies I'd recommend. Number one, influence their loyalty. OK, you cannot sanction your way into earning that. You have to develop that rapport and trust. So speak to them individually one at a time. They need to truly believe that you think they are better than their behavior and that they are capable of doing well. So use the good, bad, good sandwich, something like this. You've produced good work, you are capable, but your calling out is unacceptable and I'm not going to allow you to disrupt yourself and others. So here are your targets. OK, remember, you need to come across as protective and assertive, as I've already said, and not aggressive and dismissive. Shouting is a response to feeling threatened and is instinctively read as that by them. Number two, uh, make them accountable. OK, so set them individual targets that are observable and can be reviewed after a set number of lessons. Focus on skills to replace impulses, such as turn taking as opposed to shouting out, concentration as opposed to chatting, hands up as opposed to calling out. But remember to notice the subtle changes and acknowledge those immediately so that they understand that they actually get more interaction from you when they make good choices as opposed to less. Number three, spell out the consequence chain if they continue to disrupt. Now, you need to pre-discuss this with colleagues so you know exactly what they can do to support you in this. But to clarify, that does not mean passing this on because that will simply undermine you. It's important that you can make a confident statement about what will happen if they don't meet their targets and that you are confident you can action it. For example, if you continue to call out and you don't meet these targets, you will be removed from the lesson. Make sure you reinforce your kind but firm boundaries and champion the needs of all learners. And don't forget, effective consequences should be immediate, proportionate and non-negotiable. Finally, number four. Keep colleagues and parents informed, but ultimately take ownership of this process. Be sure to record progress and recognize positive change. Remember, this is all about bringing them on side, not alienating them. Okay, um, I hope this helps. Let me know how you get on and share any effective strategies you've used in the comments section. I'm sure we'd all appreciate them. Um, I will prepare another film for the new year. That was probably the hardest one because there are no quick fixes and I had to include a lot there, a lot to build on. So maybe I can address elements that come out of that in, in my other films. But next, I think I'm going to look more closely at consequences. Okay, take care. Have a fabulous Christmas, lots of self-care and um, let me know how you get on. Bye for now.